Today, we're doing straight razor shave number 15 with this straight razor by Jerry Stark. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John, and today we have straight razor shave number 15. And for the razor today, uh, it comes courtesy of my buddy Ross, aka Nova Shaves, and it is this razor right here from Jerry Stark. Uh, if I flip it around, actually, this might be more helpful. You can see his name right there. Well, I don't know too much about Jerry Stark. Uh, what I did some brief research on is, you know, he's right here uh, in the USA making custom straight razors. Although it seems like he's taking a break maybe around sometime last fall, 2020. Ross sent this over so I could give a quarter hollow straight razor a try, which is gonna feel and, probably, and definitely sound different than the other razors I've tried thus far. And it's already got a good amount of heft and weight to it than the other straight razors I've used. So this will be pretty different, but let me show you what else we're gonna use for today's shave. So I recently picked up another Omega Evo synthetic brush to give it another go. I realized that the two brushes that I used before, one actually also uh, was lent to me by Ross and um, the other was the one called the Special Veteran. Uh, those were more, more the shape of the handle as opposed to anything, uh, any issue with the fiber itself, which uh, much like the Simpson Trafalgar T3, it's uh, got a good amount of spring, it's got a good amount of backbone and density to it. You can kind of match it here. This is actually a knot that I thought benefited from either some test lathers or some cleaning, uh, just to kind of soften up the fibers a bit. It kind of makes it a little more malleable. So if you have an Omega Evo brush, picked it up, used it once or twice, and thought it wasn't for you, I would say keep going with it, um, do a few more lathers, and it actually might open up on you a little bit. This one I got recently, uh, it's called the Oval. Very straightforward name. It looks like a white marble, you know, kind of kind of pour. Uh, it's got a little bit of a matte finish as well. So yeah, so that's the brush we're gonna go with today. For the soap and the splash, I wanted to go with something familiar, and I was in the mood for a modern type fougere. So I reached for Zaharoff Signature. This one's a collaboration between the perfumer Zaharoff and Gentleman's Nod the Soaper. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get the brush loaded up, and I do have three days worth of beard growth that hopefully you can see here. So through the magic of editing, I'll get to that and we'll come back for the face lather. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. These are all easy ways to support and grow the channel if you're enjoying what you're watching. I'd also like to invite you all to come check out the new Lather Talk Discord server. It's a great place to chat and hang out with your fellow wet shaving enthusiasts. All right, so the brush is loaded up and here we go. So I have done a previous video on this soap before, so we won't be getting into too much detail, but I do want to mention that it is in the Cardinal base, which is Gentleman's Nod's tallow base formula. Well, I'm definitely liking the feel of this knot. It is quite soft, but it's got plenty of backbone for a really good face lather. It's amazing. I'll show a photo of the previous Omega Evo brush I had, again called a Special Veteran. I mean, really nice as far as colors and whatnot, and the shape looks good enough, but it actually made it very awkward to hold. Um, kind of either hold it by the wider part, and it never really felt comfortable in hand. On top of that, it was a bit on the hefty side, which I don't think would normally be a problem, but combined with the awkwardness of the grip, it wasn't a fun time. All right, so here we go with straight razor shave number 15. So here's a little technique I was shown to basically line up with my sideburns. And just a note too that there's generally less talking during these straight razor videos as I am really focused on the shave. Mm -hmm. 
there's a pimple right here near my chin that I am going to be extra careful on. It's still a little tender, so I'd rather not slice into it. So I do see the lather drying out on my left side, so I will be rehydrating, rehydrating that after this pass. It's amazing how, how much quieter this quarter hollow is and that, that was the way it was supposed to be. A little touch of that lather. I will note that this cardinal base from Gentleman's Nod, it's not really luminous. Although it is creamy. There's not a lot of air in it, so it stays pretty close to the skin. All right, let's get that left side now. I'll say the weight is making it a bit more challenging for the left side. I do feel like I don't have it as good as a grip, so I better tighten things up a little bit.
All right, so I'm lathering up for the second pass. So far, just to recap, the biggest difference really is the weight and how it feels in hand, which I will say overall is making me a little more hesitant. This is my first time with the razor. I'm just respecting the blade. Don't want to carve myself up too bad. So the weight is actually contributing a lot as far as the difference in experience. Also, the second notable thing is the audio feedback. It's, it is quite muted. It might still come through on the camera, but just compared to the uh, typical razors I've been using, Gold Dollar, the Hankel, I believe those are full hollows. Those give you a lot more feedback uh, audio wise. All right, so here we go with the second pass. It was amazing how, how much scruff develops right in my chin area. Also went with a heavy load with the soap, but it is, it's not yielding a lot of lather. It's quite thin too at this point, despite hydrating a lot. However, the shave itself so far is okay. So <clears throat> we're gonna stick with two passes today. Uh, I will have to admit I'm not really that thrilled with my shave today on a number of uh, number of fronts. First, the lather was just disappearing and drying up on me um, really quickly. I think I have to remember to stick with software, especially on the soap side, uh, where I'm really familiar with all the ins and outs. Also, I may have gone with too many new items today with both uh, the new razor and the new brush. I was really surprised just by how much the weight uh, made a difference as far as doing the grips and whatnot. But, you know, uh, this will probably at least be a good lesson, maybe how to set up the shave itself with the next time I use the Stark razor. But really, um, with all these straight razors I've come in, uh, I've used, you know, uh, Magic Mike's Edge, So Sharp David's Edge. I've only used those both once and received excellent shaves with it. I did want to revisit, so uh, maybe I'm changing straight razors uh, the razor itself too often uh, with you know doing this only about once a week um, that might be at play here either way I don't mind sharing kind of the ups and the downs uh, of learning these techniques so maybe you got something out of it uh, learn, learn from my mistakes at the very least but uh, we'll still uh, keep pushing on ahead uh, I've learned yeah razors especially at different grind can really really change things up so you know, I'll know for next time. That being said, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. I do appreciate your time and your support. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.